But the reason I mentioned she shoots a lot of threes, let me give you another couple Moneyball candidates here. And I say Moneyball, for those of you who never saw the movie or read the book, that's the way the Oakland A's, they, they knew they couldn't compete with the New York Yankees and the other big spenders by just going out and out spending. They didn't have the cash. So they had to find another way, and they did it through numbers and analytics. We pointed out long ago, Danny White brings in Josh Heupel at UCF and then here. That's a guy who didn't have to have the – he didn't have to sit here. And when they fired Jeremy Pruitt, I said, please, don't we put a big graphic up. They said, don't go after someone who's going to tell you, well, we'll out-recruit Alabama. No one's going to last long enough to out-recruit Alabama. So he went and he found somebody who had a system. He could game the system. I can beat you even if I don't have the best players. Nate Oates, he hired him at Buffalo. Same thing. Guy shoots a ton of threes. Lance Leopold, he hired him at Buffalo. Somebody else shoots three. Terry Morin at Indiana. She's a lifer in Indiana, but it's another I'm throwing out there. She's won a Big Ten title. She's in the Sweet 16 every year. She's someone who shoots a ton of threes. And Kim Caldwell at Marshall, her name is getting kicked around right now. She was at Glenville State for seven years. She's been at Marshall for one year, led the nation in three-point attempts per game this year. She's won like 90% of her game. She's never coached. COVID was the only year she didn't win the conference she was coaching in. She's young. She doesn't have the proven name. But do you think he goes with the splashy hire, or do you think he goes with the money ball hire? I think he starts with trying to get the splashy ball, the splashy hire. Splashy I ball. don't know that he that he will, <laughs> and then he'll go with the money ball hire after that. That's where I think it lands because I don't think Lindsey Gottlieb's coming. That would be who I would target. I think that that was a really well coached USC team this year. I don't know that Freeze is leaving uh, Maryland. But so, who would have thought Kim Mulkey would leave? You, you wouldn't. Have. So you try, right? You make yeah. them say no. Becky yeah. Hammond. I would make Becky Hammond. Yeah. I would pile up dough in front of her until she tells me no. But she's going to. And then I. And then you probably land on a money ball hire. Same thought. Go for the big name, proven coach. That's if either coach at a big program like Freeze or Gottlieb at USC. Yeah. She's done too good of a job in recruiting. She has all these players that probably aren't going to come yeah. with her. Or Hammond, who's maybe a future NBA coach. Uh, but if not, then go for the the money ball. Yeah, and she coached one of the better players after Caitlin Clark and Gigi Watkins as well. And who knows, maybe maybe she was to come as well. But I, I agree. I think you swing big. There's been a lot of talk about Dawn Staley. I don't see that happening either. I mean, why? Yeah, across the yeah. but, but that's the yeah. kind of thing. All right, right. you yeah. want to make a splash. If you're Tennessee, you should be able to go. I mean, Rick Barnes almost left Tennessee for UCLA. Now, he grew up loving John Wooden. But UCLA has that name. When it comes to women's basketball, Tennessee should have that name. You've got a chip that you can sell mm -hmm. if you want to sell it to that kind of thing. Well, John Wilkerson and I had Jimmy Dykes from ESPN on as a former women's basketball coach, and he said that the Tennessee job is the best in the country, the Lady Vols job. So he still believes that there is a lot of cred in the coaching ranks for that Tennessee job. But it's the popularity of the sport right now taking away from that a little bit because you're not being talked about during the highest-rated basketball game right. on ESPN the other night. All those right. brands. And that's yeah. adding to the motivation so, of finding the right coach. I think because it is. Tennessee right. is watching this attention thinking we should be in this. Yes, but, but exactly. who are the top women's basketball analyst names right now in, in America? Candace Parker, Andrea Carter, right? Yeah. So when, when you have those two, I do think your name's still out there a little bit. Mm -hmm. If Danny White were at Tennessee and he hired Josh Heupel, not from UCF Josh Heupel, but – Offensive coordinator, never coached before. If he hired Nate Oates, if he hired Lance Leopold, big school like Tennessee says, that's not a good enough resume. I will tell you this. When I look at Josh Heupel, Lance Leopold, and Nate Oates, if Danny White comes back with Kim Caldwell, and I say six year, seven years at Glenville State, one year at Marshall, he's got the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving it to yeah, him. Yeah, because I, I think he has shown he can spot it. I will also say one thing that we haven't talked about. He's got a brother. He's a coach. He's got a father who was an AD for a long time. He's got tentacles all over the place. I think he's probably got a lot of good contacts out there. Yeah. Danny Watt has a terrific track record of hiring coaches. I, I don't remember him missing. That's the thing. From Buffalo to UCF to here, yeah. I don't remember him missing. I do, but I, again, I in think the those, big sports. Yeah. They, like, yes, it doesn't mean you won't you'll get your number one option then because they tried to hire James Franklin before they landed on Josh Heupel, right? But, yeah, and Tony Elliott. Yeah, but what, wherever you offered. wherever he lands, I'm going to at least give him. I, I agree with you. I give him the benefit I of the doubt. Yeah, even for a somebody, I know that that's going to be the thing. She's mid thirties. She's you know, I, okay. This guy has spotted a lot of people that I wouldn't have spotted before. And if he's going to pick them out, you know, Nate Oates. If you'd hired him in Alabama, straight right out of wherever he was before they got him at Buffalo, I think it would have worked. So I'm not going to worry that they're getting somebody from Glenville State. I'm going to give Danny White the benefit of the doubt.